Let's talk the word of the year for 2022. And the word of the year for 2022 is gaslighting. Yes, this according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. The term means to grossly mislead or deceive someone, especially for one's own advantage. This, of course, is according to the dictionary, because that's where you go to find out the terminology of a word or what a word means. Or you could go to Google. Google's often good at answering that. But the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, they say that gaslighting means to grossly mislead or deceive someone especially for one's own advantage. To psychologically manipulate a person, usually over an extended period of time, so that the victim questions the validity. Validity? Oh, my goodness. You know what? I've gone all show without having a major pronunciation um, mishap. And uh, the god of radio teaching, which is one Paul E. Ratledge from Smooth Jazz, who trained most of us here in in how to do radio, uh, he called me before my show and he said, hey, Troy, I listened back to last week's show and you mispronunciated Australia. And I probably did it Australia. I think I said Australia or something, Bogan. And uh, here I have gone and mispronunciated a word in the final 10 minutes of the show. I will get another call this week. Anyway, moving on. Uh, what was I saying? There we go. The extended period of time that the victim questions the fidelity of their own thoughts, perception of reality or memories and experiences confusion, loss of confidence and self-esteem and doubts concerning their own emotional or mental stability. That's the dictionary's defining term for gaslighting. Now, speaking to the Associated Press, Peter Skolowski, the Miriam Webster's editor at large, said that the action of gaslighting implies intentional deception. So maybe we should change uh, the word politics to gaslighting. <laughs> I don't know. That works on all sides, left, right, and to the sides. Uh, searches for the term gaslighting, get this, ladies and gentlemen, have gone up. 1,740% this year alone. I'll repeat that. 1,740% compared to last year. Not in general, compared to last year. But unlike other words that made the uh, word of the year in previous years, there has not been one event that has set off this sudden rise in popularity. Like, you know, someone famous saying it or a celebrity case or, you know, an influential moment in time. Nope. Just the new word in everyone's vocab. The Troy Murphy Show.